what, what's the investment strategy then? Last time we spoke with you, you had a bunch of things you didn't like. So what, what, what don't you like this time? Or is it the same list? Well, uh, I, it's so interesting. From, from, from a historical perspective, uh, I think Buffett said in 99, there's a, a biblical symmetry to the way the stock market works. And that is when it gets expensive and you go through a financial euphoria episode, you have to unwind it. And, and, and so this is one of the truly astounding, narrow uh, bear market rallies. I'm 43 years in the business, and this is a whopper. Mm -hmm. and, and the neat thing is they've thrown the AI thing into it, right? The chat GBT or PT or whatever it is. That, that, that they've attempted to, to prolong a, a financial euphoria episode. So think about the 1636 tulip mania happening at the same times as the 1720s South Sea bubble. And, and we had that. We had crypto and we've had the tech thing. And, and now they're hoping to bring in the nifty 50 right after it or or right after uh, RCA goes in the tank in 2930. They're going to bring Polaroid out in 1931 and try to resurrect it. It, 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 you know, if, if we weren't all in yeah. the middle of this thing, we, we could sit back at a distance. And, and it's kind of humorous, actually, when you think about it. So, Bill, what are people what are people missing out on when it comes to this whole AI trade? I mean, you're saying basically you don't buy it. Why are people still willing well, to be it, like, you know what, I have this fear of missing out right now? Mm. What are they missing? Right. It, in the States, in sports, we, we call it a Hail Mary. Or in, in football, it would be like taking an 80-meter shot with 15 seconds left to go in the game to try to win, you know, to tie or win the game. Uh, it, it's a Hail Mary. Uh, the most popular stocks have been popular almost every year other than uh, in, in, in 2022. That's the only year for the last 10 or 12 years that all you had to do is just buy the most popular technology stocks. That's all you had to do. And, and oh, a, a, again, as Buffett said, it's like Pavlov's Lob, dog. It, you wake up, the market opens, and you, you come to the trough and you get fed. But that is not the way the stock market has historically worked. When things get hmm. over-owned and over-popular, when there's 58 analysts and 57 buy recommendations, there, isn't, there aren't any more humans on the planet to put money in. Where's the money going to come from? Uh, Non-U.S. is very under-owned because these companies aren't in uh, countries outside the U.S. So, so we're very bullish on resources. We, 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 hmm. we think that assets that benefit from inflation will be the place to be. Land, as long as it's not downtown office buildings in major U.S. cities. Uh, we, uh, we, we like oil and gas. Uh, and, and there are numerous businesses. Uh, I think Ben Inker at Grant the Mail uh, uh, put out a piece the other day, said that there's been 636 months in the last 50 years and only six times has deep value, U.S. deep value, and that would go for outside the U.S. as well, uh, has been cheaper yeah. than it is right now. So six months out of 636 months, and we own a lot of deep value, way more than we normally do, because this is a Ben Graham market. It's not a Charlie Munger market.